Hey guys, what's up? Happy Saturday. This is Cecily and this is This Week in Rideshare News. Three Democrats that supported the protests that Uber and Lyft drivers participated in on May 8th may have used those services on the day of the boycott. Um, the Washington Beacon is reporting that these Democratic presidential hopefuls you know, share the word of what drivers want and they said that they align themselves with drivers and think drivers should get more pay. So at the same time, I had a moment of weakness on that day as well. I attended the uh, <laughs> the protest at LAX and I parked my car, uh, if you guys know anything about LA, about two miles away from the uh, airport entrance, uh, but past, past the in and out guys. So in that direction and headed north. I couldn't wait for the shuttle to leave. It was going every like 30, 40 minutes. So I just took to walking. I walked off the airport, walked onto the street and walked all the way over there. It took me about 30 something minutes. Um, and there was a moment where I was like, I should probably get an Uber because this is not a cool neighborhood to be walking in. And number two is just like, I'm tired. And I was thinking, how am I gonna swing it? How's this gonna work? I'm up here supporting <laughs> the drivers but I don't want to walk. So, you know, in, I definitely walked the whole way. But I don't think this takes away from what they're doing. I, I personally, I don't. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And speaking of protests, there is another protest that is brewing, guys. I'm going to read it verbatim. Okay. Gig Workers Rising and Mobile Workers Alliance announced that a caravan of Uber and Lyft drivers will drive from Southern California through San Francisco to Sacramento Monday on August 26th through Wednesday, August 28th. Over 200 drivers in more than 75 cars plan to drive south to north with more drivers joining along the way to take a dramatic action in advocating for California State Legislature Bill AB5 and for a driver's union. Now, no one contacted me directly for this information. I just picked it up off of the um, off of the internet. I am definitely interested in seeing what happens. I am a proponent of AB5, and um, because I think that folks should be getting uh, better pay. So, um, yeah, yeah, this is going to be interesting. If anybody goes, please let us know how it went in the comments. So Lyft did a study with over 150 uh, seniors with chronic diseases. They offered free unlimited rides to these folks. Nine out of the 10 participants said that they felt an increase in satisfaction with their life, uh, decreased feelings of isolation, their social lives improved, and two out of three people said they had more social visits too. So as a result, the Rideshare Company has pledged over $50 million to create other programs to boost senior mobility. Um, as a person that will be a senior in maybe 60, 70 years, I'm just kidding. I like this. I definitely have elders in my family and I've seen uh, older folk kind of lose their steam when they get older because they have less visits. And I think this is awesome. Lyft is winning. I'm sorry, Uber. Uber, we need to do something similar. Uber needs to do something. Maybe we get a scooter company to come in here and help out this. Maybe, okay, maybe not with the scooters. But you see where I'm going with this, right? Today's what would you do story is a little disturbing for me. It's not funny. It's disturbing. There are so many people, so many immigrants that drive for Uber. And a lot of times I look from my perspective as being a citizen and being a person that does this part time. You know what I'm saying? I want to integrate more stories that are uh, things that we can all relate to. This one in particular pissed me off because uh, it reminded me of situations where people got into my car and thought they could ask me whatever the hell they wanted to. Like I was some kind of circus uh, or zoo uh, animal, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's watch this, it's pretty quick. I'm only gonna show a, a clip of the video and I have a link to the video in the description if you wanna watch it. Uh, in its entirety. Been in the States for? No, so who are you asking me this question? How long have you been in the States for? Over three months? Do you have your papers? So who are you Do to you ask have your papers? So I work for immigration. So how long have you been in the States for? Over three months? Ma'am, I'm, I'm an Uber driver, you know. I'm just taking you to your destination. 
But you're, okay, I don't know so why you're asking you me. The for? Why are you asking me this question, babe? So, how long have you been in the States for? You've been in the so States that's for more than three months? Do you have your papers? Are you legal? Yeah, if I have a paper or not? So yeah, no, no. If you don't have your papers that you've been here longer than three months, then you have to go back to your country. Say that, little man. So... This, there's not much context, but a driver picks up a rider, and for some reason, these folks start recording each other. Um, no. She asks him repeatedly, how long has he been in the States? She says she works for immigration, and that if he's been here for longer three, than three months, he either has to go back or he needs to, uh, to, um, to get like a work permit or something like that. So, I wanted to share this for the simple fact that um, I don't know why riders think that just because you get into our cars that you can ask whatever asinine crazy things that you want. If I was on the street, you wouldn't walk up to me and ask me how long I've been here, where I'm from, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just definitely impeding on somebody's personal space, uh and privacy it's none of your damn business um i'm sure that you guys have probably had someone like this someone that has thought because they they have gotten to your car that they are now privy to all kinds of personal information um and are retaliatory like if you don't answer it then i'm gonna do xyz these are people that we want to avoid they are but you're gonna get them every once in a while so what would you do in this case i mean i think it was great that he recorded her because you never know what kind of slick and crazy stuff she might try to pull she seems like she's on drugs and my thing is like please report this please report this because obviously you're on some sort of drug because you're and you're harassing people and that's not cool um maybe that's what y'all do behind closed doors but you're not going to do it in front of the world that's why the video is pretty cool uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If anybody under knows immigration law or knows anything more about that, uh, maybe you can clear it up for us because I'm not really familiar on that. Well, that is it. That is all. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing week. For those of you that are going to join the caravan on Monday, please, please, please be safe. If you're not a subscriber of this channel, please subscribe right now. There's so much information here. It's really a great time to be a rideshare driver in the sense that there's a lot of information. Uh, it may not be as much money as it used to be, but a lot of info on how to make that money if you want to. Uh, if you're curious about who I am, and what I do, my name is Cecily, and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. I do the same thing on my channel, information and resources that folks like you can use, especially my lady friends. And that's it. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check me out on my channel, and we'll do this thing all over again. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.